Welcome and thank you for taking a few minutes to see just how simple it is to complete your W-2 filing using the Atrix eFile software. Once you've selected W-2s from your host software or from our standalone product, the first screen you'll see is part of our company setup. You'll have the option to do a test drive. This option is available year-round and gives you the opportunity to test the product so that you're comfortable with how it works. You can choose to do it with 25 employees or all of your employees. There's no obligation to file and nothing will be actually filed. It is simply a test drive so that you get comfortable with the process. We're going to verify your EIN. For those of you that are filing for multiple companies, we want to make sure that you have the correct one loaded. If you have more than one payroll file for a single EIN, you'll go through this process for each of the payroll data files that you have and they will be merged at the end for a single file as the federal government requires a single filing per EIN. We'll verify the company information. This is important because this is what's going to appear on the W-2. You'll need to identify whether or not you are filing for a single company or if you are a paid third-party provider. In this screen, you'll have a chance to verify all of your state ID numbers. We need to make certain that they are in a proper format and that they are correct for the EIN you are filing in order for us to file on your behalf. If you have employees in Pennsylvania, you will be required to adhere to the Act 32 information, which means you'll have to provide some TCA and TCD information. A few questions just to clarify your database. Do you have any employees that are exempt from any part of Medicare or Social Security taxes? Do you have any employees who are members of the clergy? Do you want to use control numbers on your W-2s? And do you have any employees who have elected to only receive W-2 forms electronically? This requires a signature and Atrix provides a service at a discount. For the W-3, you'll need to enter your control number if that's what you use. You'll need to identify what type of filer you are, in most cases a 941. However, if you are filing military, or agricultural, or other, you'll need to select that. If you provide third-party sick pay, this is the opportunity for you to upload that information so that we have it. If you have an establishment number for multiple filings or whatever, you can put that information in. Uh, if you have other EINs that you've used for this business during the course of the year, you'll need to enter that. And of course, you'll have to let us know whether or not this business was terminated during the year. Once you've completed the company setup, you'll now see all of your employees listed in what we call our grid. It acts and looks like a spreadsheet. The first information that you'll verify is the employee information, verifying names, addresses, social security numbers. Our software will automatically detect if a social security number is not in the proper format or contains characters that are not allowed. This is one of over 60 error checks that will be done during this process. Once you've reviewed the employee information and are comfortable with it, simply click Next. The next thing you'll be looking at are additional employee information like uh, postal codes, uh, statutory employees, retirement plans, third-party sick pay. Uh, these will be items that they've either, either checked or not checked. Again, once you're comfortable with that status. Next. The next step then is verifying wages. Again, these error checks are being completed. It will look at limit. It will look to make sure that, in fact, there is a value for those states that uh, this employee uh, resides in. You can review that data. One of the nice things about this, as I mentioned before, this acts like a spreadsheet. You can simply verify totals by looking up at the top. If these totals match the information that you have put together prior to filing, it's a quick and easy way to verify that the data is correct. Looking at next, these are all of the state wages. Again, all being verified uh, for limits and values. The last thing is just a chance to review all of the data. Once you have completed that, you'll begin to go through the process of getting it ready to be delivered. This screen allows you to pick the level of service that you'd like. Obviously, the best practices here is to use the complete W-2 e-filing service. With this, Atrix prints and mails the employee copies as early as the next business day. 
It provides EW-2 information for employees so that they can retrieve their electronic W-2 if they have chosen to do so. Remember that that requires a signature by the employees stating that they will no longer receive a paper W-2. We'll file your Fed W-2 and W-3s. We'll file your state W-2s and any reconciliation forms that are required. And as a final measure, we do host all of your W-2s online for instant access. If someone calls you and has lost their W-2, they don't live in town, rather than having to print and mail a new one, you can simply direct them to the website and they can log in and retrieve their own W-2. We offer the opportunity for you to buy a PDF archive file for of your W-2s. Again, this is simply a standalone flash drive that you can choose to put in a safe or off-site in order to ensure your data is safe. This is a task list that's mentioning all of the states that you are intending to file to. In this case, we have every state in the union. I have eliminated all of the extra W-2s so that we can speed this process up and we'll simply file for Colorado. This is the PA Act 32 requirements. Again, simply verifying the information is correct. This is a task list that will tell you everything that Atrix is going to do for you. We're going to e-file the Fed W-2, e-file the Fed W-3, we're going to e-file the Colorado W-2s, the Pennsylvania Act 32, your employee copies will be printed and mailed, and your employer copies will be made available to you to be able to print. You can print this list and keep it in your file so you know exactly what Atrix said it was going to do. Once that process is complete, you'll then have an opportunity to review the actual forms. The first of the forms that you'll be reviewing is the employer W-2. You'll see that these are four up. Once you've reviewed them, you can simply print next step and it, it'll give you the opportunity to print. And then the second one that you'll verify is the federal W-2s. These are two up. Again, you'll have the opportunity to print them if you'd like. The Fed W-3, this one you can check the quick totals to make sure that that data matches exactly what you have audited yourself and internally shows in your payroll data. Again, the opportunity to print it. The Colorado W-2s, these are the state forms that will be filed on your behalf. Once you've completed and reviewed all of the information, you'll simply use the username and password which you created when you enrolled at efile.atrix.com. Follow the simple step-by-step -step process, provide a credit card for payment, and you are done. That's just how simple it is to efile your W-2s using the Atrix eFile solution.